Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about whether the data that you have represents a function or not. So there's a couple of ways that you can represent a function, um, or something can be represented as a function, and it depends on really the data that you're given. So one of the ways you can see if something's a function or not is if each x value that you have has only one corresponding y value, then it's a function. Elsewise, it's not. So let me show you some examples. Let's say you have these two charts. This first one here, you have x values and y values. The x's are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the y values are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So what you really want to look for, the simplest way to put it, is do any of the x values repeat? And as you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. None of those repeat. So every x value has only one y value. So this one is definitely a function. If you look at the second chart, you have x values of 1, 2, 1 again, 3, and then 3 again. And you have the y values 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So if you look at the x values, we notice that 1 is shown twice and 3 is also shown twice. So what that means is there are two different y values for the x value of 1 and two different y values for the x value of 3. And so because of that, this is not a function. So that's one quick trick. Let's look at another set of data. Let's say you have these two sets of ordered pairs. In the first one, you want to look to see, are there any x values that repeat? And remember, in an ordered pair, it's always represented as x comma y. So in all of the first numbers, are there any that are shown more than once? Well, if you look, you have 4, 5, 6, and 7. So none of those repeat, which means this is a function. If you look at the second set of ordered pairs, you have the x values are 4, 4 again, 5, and 6. So if you look for x values that repeat, you have 4 and 4. Since 4 shows up more than once, this is not a function. Okay, let's look at one more way you can determine if something's a function or not. This really will work if you're given a graph. If a, if a graph passes what's called the vertical line test, then it's a function. If it doesn't, then it's not a function. So let's look at some examples. Let's say you have this graph. It's not your typical looking graph. It's not a line. It's not a parabola. But, you know, this represents some kind of equation. What you want to do is see if it passes the vertical line test. What that means is if I draw a vertical line straight down the graph, anywhere on the graph, does it only cross the graph one time? So as you can see, I've drawn a couple of different vertical lines. It passes one time here, only one time, only one time, only one time. So anytime I draw a vertical line, it passes the graph once. That means that this graph is a function. If you look at another example, you have this graph. Again, typically not a standard graph, but it represents some equation. If I draw a vertical line somewhere down this graph, it's going to cross one time, two times, three times, four times. It crosses a lot of different points. Since it doesn't cross only one time, this is not a function. All right, so when you're looking at data, whether you're looking at order pairs or charts or even graphs, I hope these are some little tricks that can help you out in determining whether something is a function or not. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.